All right, you guys, this is our outside area. It's a work in progress. We don't have any of our like outside furniture up yet, but this is the area that I want to redo with all of the plants. So I took all of the trash that was like previously in our yard and I'm going to throw all this stuff away. And then today we are gonna go buy some dirt and I should be filling in this whole area with dirt so that I can start planting little plants all right here. All that matte stuff that's currently laying down is just weed block so that weeds don't come through here. So I just need to get the rest of these weeds out and then throw away all of this trash. And then we're gonna go get some dirt. We are today going to go get my wife some dirt because she has an outside gardening project to do. So, tag along with us. Black gold. All natural and organic. Ten bucks a bag. So it's like a really solid, nice soil. It's got a lot of peat moss in there. Oh, it's gonna look so good, Blurry. I know, even just the dirt right there, I'm like, oh yeah. Here is the dirt. Sorry if it's windy and you can't hear me. Here's the dirt all filled in, but we need a few more bags. We went through almost all of those bags pretty quick, so I'll probably need to get another eight bags or so. But it's looking good so far. All right, you guys. I also have all of these seeds here. And I put on Instagram to see if you guys wanted me to show you guys me planting these. To be honest, I haven't had the greatest luck with seeds in the past. Like, a few of the seeds worked out, but I would say like 80% of my flowers from seeds did not work out. Everett has good luck or a green thumb with seeds starts, vegetable seeds starts. He takes pride that he does not buy the starts from the grocery store as if he's a better human being because of it. <laughs> it's a more advanced gardening thing, people. Um, so basically- He's a snotty about it. There's three levels of gardening. You buy the plant that already exists, you put it in the ground. Like if you can grow that, Congratulations, it was already started for you and you had a good year. Are you talking to this? The second is to start yours from seed. So as my wife has some seeds right here, you start from seed, you birth it, you grow it, everything is good. The third, and this is the most advanced step of gardening and I am not there, growing the seeds from the plants that you grew last year. <laughs> my Stop. neighbor, yeah, that's the next level. And then beyond that, think about it, you could like, Prune your genetics. You're like, hey, I really like this tomato here. I'm gonna replant this seed population next year. I gonna... normally just buy the starts from the grocery store of the pretty little flowers. They're like about to bloom and then you like put them in the dirt and they're all pew, cause they're just 90% like... of the work is already done. But I'm gonna attempt to do some of these. It's getting late and I'm hungry. So I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow for the seed adventure. Hi guys, so it is the next day and I just got done getting ready and now I think I'm going to start doing the seeds that I was talking about yesterday. So I have the little Starbucks cups right here and I'm just going to fill them with dirt and then I will plant the seeds. I think I'll do my sunflowers in here. So I'm gonna do some of these ones. Love 
I'm just kind of roughing up the edges of the roots so that they're able to kind of like grow outwards instead of just staying root locked. You don't want to break the roots, just kind of like scratch them a little bit. I like to try to keep the little tags next to it too so that I can remember what they like and don't like. So I just kind of like put it right next to it if I can. What's up guys? Today is beautiful and sunny and so we decided to put out all of our patio furniture. Hopefully it doesn't rain, it probably will, but we could just tarp it really quick since most of the rain's probably over. So I just put down our little like boho rugs right here. I usually get these at Ross and I think they're only like $20, they're pretty decent size. And then over here we just have our little pallet beds and then we have a memory foam topper. It's a single size memory foam topper with just a sheet on top. Finally put out my little patio thrifted table. And then Everett just wet down all of the garden area. So I think I'm just going to put the seeds directly into the dirt over here. And I'll use these little seeds elsewhere in the garden or in my back planter over there. So these guys are still doing their thing. just put a bunch of seeds in here honestly I had no method I just try to put the shorter ones towards the front and the ones that get a little bit taller towards the back I don't even really read the directions I just kind of poke a hole and then fill it with dirt so I'm just gonna try to keep this wet and hopefully we'll see some new little sprouts up in the next two weeks or so look at how gorgeous the color of this I think it's called an African daisy oh my gosh I love it it's so pretty I have to take a picture of this for my Instagram <laughs> Hello friends! It's been like, I don't know, maybe a week, maybe two weeks since I filmed last and I figured I would update you guys on my little seeds. I have some seeds coming up. I also bought some plants at Walmart when I was there the other day because they were really affordable. I figured I'd show you guys the rest of the little plants that I got and just give me your feedback if you kind of like these like gardening type videos. Our neighbor is weed whacking so sorry if you can hear that. Out here we just put our little fountain. Everett just put it on a timer so it comes on in the morning and then turns off at night. And then I got some more little plants over here. These little guys were at Walmart. They were like only a $1.99 because they're not looking so great. But I feel like if you just give them some water, they'll perk back up. This little guy was on sale for like a few dollars. It's like a little lily. And then I got some pansies. I got these little guys. They just have little blue flowers on them when they start blooming. I always buy the ones that aren't blooming yet so I can enjoy them longer once they start blooming. I got these and these all at Walmart all on sale. So it was really cool because they were really good prices. And then right over here I also got a few more little plants over the last few days. My peony looks like it's doing good over there and I figured I'd just show you guys how my seeds are doing. Hi Deegan! How you doing girl? The weather is super nice today. It's like 80 degrees right now. It's so nice. Over here in my seeds, the update is that my sunflowers have come up. So these are all the sunflowers. A lot of my other seeds like are pretty small. I don't know if you guys can see, but they are pretty little, but it seems like the sunflowers were quickest to come up. Oh, that one has something. This one's got some little seeds. Honestly, I don't remember what I put in there and I didn't label that one yet. And then I'm pretty sure that some of these are sunflowers. Yeah, the sunflowers come up really fast, it seems like. In the actual dirt, we do have a few little seeds coming up. It's maybe been about a week, so hopefully we'll see some more things in the future, but it gives me hope. Over here in this back corner, I have a snowball. So he looks like he's gonna bloom in the next few days. They usually turn white. I love this little guy. It's taken several years for it to get this 
large, several years. It was much smaller when we got it, but he's finally doing well. This one just has like super cute little white flowers all over it. Right here is a lupin. You guys can see the little lupin flower coming. Sorry, that weed eater is so loud. And then back there is my other peony. And then under our shade right here is a climbing rose and it is really blooming a lot right now. Love it. I wish the blooms would stay longer. They honestly only stay for like a few, a week or two maybe. It always blooms right near my birthday. I'll go inside since that weed eater is kind of loud. All right, you guys, I think that that is it for this video. Like I said, if you guys want me to do more of like outdoor, Everett likes to do a vegetable garden. If you like this kind of content, just let me know so that I will continue to make more of it as we are gardening throughout the spring and summertime because we really like to be outside and Everett and I both really like the plants and stuff. So let me know if you guys enjoy this. I love you guys so, so much. Let me know down below if you guys have had any garden projects or like what you've been doing outdoors during this time. I'm curious to know. And also like any recommendations of plants that you just love. I love plants and I love learning about plants. So all right, you guys, love you guys so, so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.